We have come together today in the celebration of the life of James Herbert Matthews, Jr. One of our own that has gone on to be with the Lord. We say to the family, may God bless you. At this time, we will follow the program as printed.
uh, as well as the New Testament. Testament will be coming from the book of Lamentations, uh, chapter 3, uh, verses 22 through 32. And it reads, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, mm -hmm. because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, said my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. He sitteth alone and keepeth sides, because he hath borne it upon him. He put it his mouth in the dust, if so be there, may be hope. He giveth his cheek to him that smiteth him. He is filled full with reproach. For the Lord will not cast off forever. But though he cause grief, yet will he have compassion, accounting to the multitude of his mercies. That's Old Testament Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 22 through 32. New Testament reading will come from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, uh, beginning at verse 13 through 18. And it reads, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that which are alive and remain unto thee, the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ, shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. New Testament readings from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18. May the Lord had a blessing to his red word. Thank you. Father's house, and I believe that. Mm -hmm. 
There are many mansions. He didn't say little buildings. He said mansions. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'll come back and receive you unto myself. That where I am, thou shalt be also. So I believe this with all my heart, all my soul, and all my being. So when I give you this prayer, I want you to understand that it's not coming from only the heart of this soul. Our Father and our God, we come this day thanking you yes, for the memories and the sweet enjoyment that you gave to this family to be able to be a part of Herbert's life. We can't pray for him, but I pray for the comfort of this family. That one day they may uh, be standing looking in the mirror and see his eyes smiling at them from the side. Knowing that they're going to meet him someday. We don't know when, but we believe that it's already twilight time. When Jesus is going to come back and gather all his saints together. And we're going to have that wonderful supper of the Lamb. We thank you so much, Lord, for giving us the privilege to spend our waking hours, our time and our days with Mr. Herbert Matthews. And we're going to forever give you the praise and glory and all things you said. For in Jesus' name we pray and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
come today to celebrate the life of James Herbert Matthews, Jr. Sunrise, January 14, 1945. Sunset, January 2nd, 2022. God is always present, and his peace will always be with you. From all of us at Mayview, with deepest sympathy. In this time of sadness, may you be comforted in knowing and having the knowledge that others care for you. Sonia, sorry to hear about the loss of your dad. Can't imagine how you feel. Please know that you and your family are in our prayers at this most difficult time. Love, Jada. Traces, memories of people who are no longer here, but who are never forgotten. Transitions Life Care staff and Board of Directors wish to extend our deepest sympathy to the family and friends of James Matthews, Jr. God will tenderly comfort you. He will give you the strength to endure. Second, Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 7. To my dear cousin, classmate, and, grand, and great, great friend, may God be close to you now for strength and comfort, and may his peace overflow in the days to come. With deepest sympathy, your friend forever, Willie Barrett Hanks. Mount Zion Baptist Church, 2617, Mount Zion Church Road, Apex, North Carolina. Reverend Dr. Lafayette Maxwell, pastor. Resolution in loving memory of James Herbert Matthews, Jr. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Psalms 24, verse 1. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. It is a verse from the Bible which means you may have to cry for a while, but when you're through crying, there will be much joy. This is a great promise of hope that God gives to each one of us during these trying times. We, the members of Mount Zion Baptist Church, extend our heartfelt sympathy and prayers to Sonia and the Matthew family. What a blessing Herbert was to his family, his friends, his church, our church, Mount Zion, and this community. We are grateful that he made the transition from this earth, earthly tabernacle to a far better place, one free of sickness and pain, to a heavenly home filled with joy, peace, and eternal rest. To God be the glory. To our very own Deacon Charles Matthews and family, we pray that the enduring love of God give you peace now and the days ahead. Your church family will continue to pray for you as we share in your loss. May your faith and the knowledge of God's presence keep you in the days to come. Yours in Christ, Reverend Dr. Lafayette Maxwell, our Mount Zion ministerial team, and the Mount Zion church family. The obituary. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare, to prepare a place for you. John 14, verses 1 and 2. James Herbert Matthews, Jr. peacefully entered into eternal rest on Sunday, January 2nd, 2022. 
affectionately called Herbert. He was born on January 14, 1945, the youngest child of Herbert Matthews Sr. and Virgie Powell Matthews. James was born in Apex, North Carolina, and attended the public schools in his community, graduating from Apex Consolidated High School in 1963. After graduating high school, he began work in the plumbing trade, then landed employment at the Department of Public Works for the town of Cary, working on water and sewer repairs. After 15 years with the town of Cary, he began working for Southern State Building Supply Company. Herbert saw the value of becoming an entrepreneur where he could put all of his tradesman skills to work for himself. From Apex, North Carolina to the Washington, D.C. region, he found work all over the mid-Atlantic area. He could build just about anything, remodeling <clears throat> kitchens, adding decks, installing bathrooms, all types of home repairs and renovations. He could even operate excavating equipment, such as backhoes, diggers, and other large-scale loaders and tractors. These skills served him well as he eventually eased into retirement. Herbert married Linda Jeffries in 1967, and from this marriage, their beautiful daughter, Sonia, was born. The marriage ended in divorce, and he eventually remarried Peggy Lunsford in 1973. His marriage to Peggy also ended in divorce. Herbert loved to socialize, hang out with his friends, and reminisce with some of his former classmates. He enjoyed attending car races in Rockingham, North Carolina, and made many trips to watch the races with his friends. He loved family gatherings and really enjoyed the company of his grandchildren. He loved to eat good home cooking, and he was a great cook himself. He knew his way around the kitchen. Before his health issues, he was a member of the men's choir here at Mount Zion and served on the usher board. Left to cherish his memory are his daughter, Sonia Matthews Conyers, Samuel, his grandchildren Kendall Thorpe, Cameron Peterson, and Alec Dunn, one great-granddaughter, his sister, Grace <coughs> Shirley Kearney, his brother, Charles Otis Matthews Sr., Laura, and a host of nieces, nephews, cousins, and friends. He was preceded in death by his parents and his oldest sister, Betty Claren Matthews Reyes. I am free. Don't grieve for me, for now I'm free. I'm following the path God laid for me. I took his hand when I heard him call. I turned my back and left it all. I could not stay another day to laugh, to love, to work or play. Task left undone must stay that way. I found that place at the close of the day. In my parting, if my parting is left a void, then fill it with remembered joy. A friendship shared, a laugh, a kiss. Ah, yes, these things I too miss. Be not burdened with times of sorrow. I wish you the sunshine of tomorrow. My life's been full, I've savored much. Friends, good times, a loving touch. Perhaps my time seemed all too brief. Don't let them it with undue grief. Lift up your heart and share with me. God wanted me now. He set me free. Acknowledgements from the family. The family of Herbert Matthews expressed their warmest appreciation 
for the acts and expressions of kindness shown during their time of bereavement. May God bestow his richest blessings on all of you. Thank you, the family. James, 
Herbert Matthews Jr. This is my story. You got your story, Herbert. I'm telling my story. So I, I remember he saying in the male voice. He did not matter whether he was alto, tenor, bass. He sang in the right key. That's what I'm going to talk about. Sing it in the key of Jesus. Sing it in the key of Jesus. I'm not going to try to be long. The family, I need to do what the Lord told me to do. We want to rejoice in the good times of James Herbert Matthew Jr. And it comes from Philippians 4, 4 and 7. To the family and all of the loved ones and friends. Yes. Rejoice in the Lord. Yes. Always. Yes. And again I say rejoice. Yes. Let your moderation be known unto all men. Yes. That the Lord is at hand. Yes. Be careful for nothing. Yes. But in everything by prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. Let your requests be known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, mm -hmm. shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus the Christ. Yes. Brother James Herbert Matthews Jr. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, give thanks unto the Lord. Yes. Call upon his name. Yes. Make known his deeds among people. Mm -hmm. Say unto him, Sang hymns unto him, talking of all his wondrous works. Glory be in his holy name. Let the hearts of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face continually and remember his merciful and marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and his judgment upon the earth. Mm -hmm. This afternoon, I want to admonish the family to seek the Lord. Yes. In all of your seeking and do it. Though you may not understand, though, though you may have questions, the person who can handle you would be God Almighty Himself. Yes. Seek Him. Yes. Seek Him because He is the strength yes. of your life, the scripture says. Yes. It does not say seek strength from your neighbors. Come on. Yes. Come on. From your college degree buddies and sisters. Well. And we can't get to so much strength from our husbands and wives, our mothers and fathers, our job, and our beautician and our cousin and all other things. But there is one. Yes. In the human trials, yes. in times like these, yes. we all need to seek the Lord in his strength. Yes. And his face constantly. And if we stand in his strength, yes. he'll move us from sadness. Yes to gladness. Yes. He'll move us from tears to a smile, remembering the good times and the good times. Yes. And when we pray, All right. we reach up to talk to the Lord. Yes. And when we seek Him, we seek Him as the beginning, the middle, and the end of our life. Yes. I'm a proud of the family. Seek His strength. Yes. Don't go to the gym and get some bobheads and get strong physically. Right. Oh, but treat his strength, yeah. his power. Yes. But he'll keep you going, not just for a day, not just for a minute, but he'll keep you going through the good times yes. and the bad times. Yes. Yes. The word tells me that if we seek his presence, his face continually, mm -hmm. he'll be with us in all avenues of life. Yes. Your seeking should never stop, family, loved ones, and friends. Mm -hmm. Because our mind can't understand certain things as to why God does it here and not there. But if you hang out with him long enough, uh -huh. he'll give you the answers by and by. Yeah. If you keep your head yeah. when all is about you, that, that's what James had to do. Right. Not only when he was well, yeah. but even when sickness touched his body. He never forgot what mama and dad yes. and aunties and mother did yes. and all those people put in. Yes. No matter where he went, no matter whatever he done, just like you and me. Yes. <laughs> we ain't done everything right, yes. but we don't lose the Lord. Yes. I want to talk about what he done in the church. Yes. You may talk about him outside of the church, and that's 
left you here. So when you get into dancing, you're gone, you're not gone. He gave you some good advice. He told you what not to do that he may have done. That's what a good soul of God will do. Oh, may the works I've done. Speak for me. Can I say in the key of Jesus? May the service I give. Speak for me. When I'm resting in my grave, there's nothing else to be said. May the works I've done. Speak for me. May the life I leave. Speak for me. May the life I live. Speak for me. When the best I try to live, my mistakes, he will for me. May the life that I live. Speak for me. May the service I give. Speak for me. When I've done the best that I can. And my friends don't understand. May the service I give, give for me. The works I've done seem so small. Sometimes it seems like nothing at all. Seems like nothing at all. But when I stand before He heard my 
Look at the fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you let it. Mm -hmm. Look at you. You are the fruit. That's right. still there. Yes. So this river and this commitment that Jesus Christ lives on mm -hmm. to all of you. Those who could be here physically, those who will be straight. We give the glory to the Lord. The choir gives us a closing selection. All right, from home, will do what they do best. Amen. Amen. I'm going to try to do an old familiar song. I'm going to walk right here. It's my. Yes, sir. And the ones that know the word of this song, Join in and help me. Uh, see, I have a cousin or two in the audience there. Would y'all come up and help me a little bit? These young ladies are Sonia's cousin too. Sonia's grandmother and their mother were sisters. My mother was their mother's sister also. I had no idea they would be here today, but I'm so glad to see them. And I'm so glad to see all of them. Amen. Even though we're here to celebrate the life and the passing of my friend, we're still here to celebrate and honor Jesus. Amen. Uh, 